Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video over on Pal World. And I'm going to show you in this video how to do an automated coal farm. And uh, it's pretty useful, actually, because coal is pretty important late game when you're trying to use some of the resources. Um, but you just need to know the location to go, right? So anyways, this is inside of the desert. I'm going to go ahead and get to the location first before kind of showing you what, what's around it. Um, but basically, you need to get into the desert in this section. This is where the Anubis level 47 can be found. But there's also a patch of coal and a little bit of an outcropping, if you can get past all the trees here, apparently, um, that has like seven coal rocks that are really close together. And those coal rocks can be harvested and you can set up a little bit of a farm and it'll automatically gather it. You can kind of see it in front of me right now. I'll go ahead and ping the location in a second here. But uh, you can see that right up there. So there's also a few that are lower, but, you know, it is kind of it changes around a little bit now the one thing about the desert zone it is very hot so you need the heat resistant armor i'm wearing cold resistant armor um just be aware of that but you can see these are all uh coal rocks now in order to automatically farm these things it's actually pretty easy all you have to do is go ahead and hop off your tame um and go ahead and put it back in your inventory and then you're going to go ahead and build a right here pal box now you need to get a piece of paldium in order to actually accomplish this feat. And the one thing that you want to watch out for is inside of this area, there are also quite a few raiders. Now, you can just go ahead and destroy them pretty easily because they are not difficult to take out at all um, because you can just use crossbow shots for the most part. And then your creatures in the long run will actually take them out without much of a problem. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to slap down a pal box right here. Now, if you have enough, obviously I have three that I can use right now and allowing me to kind of farm this out a little bit, but you want to kind of slap it down in a location that fits. I'm going to go ahead and move it right here. Uh, come on. Thank you. And then you will have to fight off a few things. So just be aware of that. And that's kind of just how this area works because it's a little bit more dangerous, but your creatures will do that for you without much of a problem. Um, but that dig toys is actually perfect to show an example. So we're going to go ahead and build this guy. And what we're going to do now is actually pretty nice. Now, what happens when you actually build this box here and place down some dig toys is that they will actually automatically farm the nearby stones for you. And they will automatically move over to those locations and kind of start spinning. Now you'll see these guys right here. They're kind of just going to start harvesting and moving in the direction that, of those coal rocks. Now, they will get kind of stuck a little bit in those trees. So if you want to help them a little bit, you can. But they will eventually make it to the coal rocks. And here's the cool thing, right? They'll just sit all day and they'll just harvest all of this coal. And if you leave a few of them nearby, they will continue to shred the coal. And uh, they will, when you come back, whether it's in 10 minutes, 10 years, whatever you want to call it, right? It's going to come, you're going to come back to a whole bunch of coal on the ground. Now, that's the really neat thing. You can also use any tame, but because it's harvested right there, you don't need to hurry at all. And uh, you can kind of just set like six, seven, eight of these things so they defend each other as well. Uh, because technically the map won't do anything if you're not present. So um, uh, every now and then you just want to come back, make sure they kind of render and make sure they're taking care of all the stuff. Um, but you can see these guys, they've already started getting that coal for us and they're just going to passively do that over time. Now, the really cool thing is that you can get a whole bunch of them if you want to, and uh, they will continue to gather coal for you. So you can see that I can just come back, grab that coal and then leave. That's it. That's all you have to do. Um, so I'll go ahead and pull out a few more dig toises uh, if I have any in here. I know I've just tamed another one. And then there's another one right there, right? So you can put down like four of them. And if you really want to, what you can do is you can place down a box. And uh, if, I mean, if you're feeling fancy, right? You don't have to do this by any means. If you throw down a box and put a couple of um, something they can carry, your carrying creatures and pals will automatically pull all of that coal into the box. So you literally just spawn in over here and teleport grab the resources and then go back to where you're going so it's a very very convenient thing you can see them they don't do the best job on coal because they will sit here and harvest it but you can see that they will continue to grind away at the coal non-stop um, and then i can go ahead and just to give you an example of what i mean by this i can go ahead and go back to my base just like this and they will continue to farm that coal over there. And you just show up every now and then and you're good to go, right? Which is a huge, 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 huge advantage. So we're definitely going to take advantage of that. Now, just to give you a comparison, we're going to go back over there. So we can heal up over at this base. And we head over here. And these guys are like, hey, man, we've been still grinding away on the coal for you. And then boom, just like that. Now, if you really want to, what a good thing to do is, is this is kind of an AFK thing. 
you can kind of log off in this general region and they will just automatically keep going after that for you. So that is a very useful technique and they'll just keep grinding away. Now you can do this with sulfur, you can do this with ore, you can do it with whatever you want to do and it's very, very, very useful. So anyways, hope for this video is something that helps you out and other than that, teach. Ah.